Chef Stern here in the Z-Line kitchen. So for our entree that we're gonna make, we're gonna make some pan seared uh, Chilean sea bass. Um, I do the Chilean sea bass because I like lighter fishes. That's a light dish, trying to keep with that summer feel, the spring feel. Um, I'm not a big fan of really fishy fish. I only like salmon when it's raw. Um, so just the, the textures of this is gonna lend really well to the dish. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna keep the skin on because I really like the texture of that crispiness of the skin when we pan sear it. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it some nice slices and then that way it'll keep it from curling up when we uh, pan sear it. So over here I've got my uh, pan nice and hot and I'm gonna just go ahead and give it a little bit of uh, pressure. That way it'll sear and it won't give it that curl. My temperature down a little bit. All right. So while we got that going, what we're gonna do with it is we're gonna do a nice roasted beet black rice in the style of a risotto. So I love black rice because it has that al dente texture to it. It's not that soft, gummy white rice, especially when you're doing um, something in the sim similar to like a risotto. So that's why, you know, the barrio rice, it's got that tooth feel to it. So that, or that al dente. So we're gonna start off, we just added a little, cooked a little black rice. You can do wild rice, you can do brown rice. If you're adamant about white rice, you can do white rice. It's just um, totally up to you. So, a little butter. A lot of butter, if you like a lot of butter. Cholesterol level's completely up to you. So going in with the rice, I'm a huge fan of beets. I know a lot of people don't like beets because they taste like dirt. Um, but I feel like if you cook them right, they don't taste like dirt. You use the right herbs. Um, I usually just take the baby beets, red, golds, chayugas, whatever you want, and uh, slow roast them in the oven, similar to like um, if you're braising anything in the oven. So a lot of uh, liquid, a lot of fresh herbs, garlic seasoning. Um, I like the earthiness to it, but I like to have that flavor. So this has got, you know, garlic, rosemary, thyme, and uh, uh, salt, pepper, the usual. So we're gonna add a little bit of that in there. So one thing I learned when I worked for Charlie Palmer is the right way to cook fish. Um, one thing I always do is I always butter baste my fish. Um, it's going to cook it a little bit more evenly. It's gonna add a little bit more flavor. And let's be honest, it's butter. Everyone loves butter. So a little bit of seasoning. We've got garlic, coriander, uh, sea salt, black pepper. And then we're just gonna butter baste it. So this will help get, like I said, that even cook on there. It's gonna add a little bit more of that flavor. We've got some fresh rosemary in there. Um, once you see, I mean, if you can see the butter, how it's starting to brown a little bit, that's gonna give it a little nut, nutty flavor as well. So more complexity to the flavor profile of the fish um, without it tasting totally like fish. So we'll turn that off and we'll let that sit and just kind of slow cook in the, uh, in the butter. Add a little bit of our, like a house seasoning here for our black rice. And then any cheese you like is up to you. If you don't like cheese, you don't have to use cheese. This is a little uh, cotija cheese. So a little salty, we got that earthy, we've got that texture. Um, another thing you can do too is you can add some of the uh, fresh arugula, chop it up, throw it in there. That's going to add a little more texture. That's going to add a little more pepper to it. Um, it'll also add a little more color. Um, so once we have all of this taken all done, we'll pull the fish. And then what I want to do, I'll let that sit. So I'm going to utilize this sauce here. 
because now we're going to add some crab. So we're doing a little blue crab. We're going to add that to the sauce here. Let that soak in those flavors from the brown butter, from the rosemary. we're using like a, a black rice a lot of dark colors I like to use a light plate that way it pops you don't want to use too dark of a plate because then you lose the rice and the beets um, once again I like to feed the eyes before you feed the stomach make it attractive you know make it look edible to the eyes before you taste it so we're gonna get that nice and tight in the middle of the plate here fish and then the best part the crab you know a lot of this stuff is really easy to do at home it's not um, it's not necessarily rocket science it's very much my style I don't like to get over the top I don't like to use a lot of chemicals I don't like to use a lot of um, gadgets to do a lot of my food I like to let the food and the ingredients speak for themselves um, so we don't have to use a lot of the molecular, especially when we're using fresh fish and uh, vegetables. We want them to come out in the dish. So what we have here is our pan-seared Chilean sea bass, black rice with roasted beets, and our herb pan sauce and uh, blue crab.